Oh, okay, here comes the pipe dregs. What? Where are they going? Spiders, attack! <laughs> there we go. Wait, where's the third one? Okay, you die, you die, and you die. <laughs> I love this gun so much. Oh, the third guy's back. Spider attack, come on. We need to get him. Okay, we're gonna Kobe his ass right now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> How much range does this thing actually have? Oh, it's just too good. So welcome back to a new video, guys, and as you could probably tell from the beginning clip, I have been having way too much fun with the new grenade launcher. Now, starting with a little backstory of how I got the Colony grenade launcher, I believe I showed this two videos ago when I was handing in my 2,000 weapon materials, and to sum it up quickly, I got it out of a legendary engram. Which, in itself, to me anyway, is like, that never happens. I never, ever get an exotic from a legendary. And when I first got it, I briefly knew what it was about. Something about grenade launchers and shooting spiders, and I was a bit confused, to be honest. And then I tried it. As you can tell, the intrinsic perk is this weapon's grenades are insectoid robots that chase targets and explode close to them. That's incredible. That's an incredible perk. I'd love to see a Wardcliffe coil version of this. Make it happen, Deej. And the trait that comes with the weapon as well is also very useful, saying the insectoid robot grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. So if you run out of ammo and switch weapon, but you run over a bunch of purple ammo, then it's instantly reloaded, basically. The appearance of the gun, I'm not really a big fan of, because it's kind of everywhere. And I know the ordinance for this gun is currently being sold, but also that looks kind of plain as well. I think I prefer this one. So I've been using this gun pretty much religiously throughout the past few days, and I thought one thing to do would be to kind of compare it to the other exotic grenade launcher, which is of course the Prospector. And I know they're completely different grenade launchers, because obviously one shoots spiders and one... <laughs> doesn't. But the Prospector itself, I'm a really big fan of as well. I quite enjoy doing heroic public events, so I find grenade launchers to be like one of the most useful things to use. The Warcliffe Core is really good as well, but I'm talking about grenade launchers for this video. So if you guys have never used this weapon, let me offer a brief demonstration. Upon firing this weapon, a spider will come out. This spider is called George. George is your friend and has your back. And after you shoot him, he'll go towards any enemy in front of you and proceed to self-destruct in their face. Oh, no, wait, George, okay. Now, aside from that, another thing I love about this weapon in comparison to the other grenade launcher, for example, when you're doing a heroic public event and killing the boss, when you run right up to them and spam your grenade launcher, these spiders that you shoot do not have splash damage that affects you, which it does do with the prospector, and it's a bit of a weird point to make, but it's one of those things that I like, and I, once again, like I say, I do a lot of heroic public events, so it comes in very useful. Pretty much anything PvE related is very fun with this weapon. One place I've yet to venture with this weapon is the Crucible, and you guys know what's coming. So thankfully, at the time of recording this, the Tuesday patch is out, so that means the Prometheus lens when it comes to Crucible is now completely useless. Which is really good news, because that means I can use regular weapons. A Crucible world without lasers, can you believe it? Well, I really shouldn't have killed him. Oh, I love this auto rifle so much. I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't going to miss the lasers, because honestly, it was so much fun. But it kind of had to be changed. Kind of think about it, now the lasers are nerfed, it's going to be even more competition for power ammo. Because people used to just leave it, because what's the point? You already have a laser that can destroy everything. What's that? Okay, we got some. Now, as far as I know, they two hit increasable. Hello, Mr. Hunter. <laughs> you did not see that coming. Do we have one here? Yes, there is. Oh. <laughs> what a way to end the game. And we get an exotic. <laughs> wow. There you go, guys. If you want a guaranteed exotic in the Crucible, use this spider launcher. This guy's trying to use a laser on me. <laughs> wow, it's actually really been nerfed to the ground. This power ammo is mine. <laughs> All right, Shax, calm down. Your advantage grows. Stay strong. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so fun. Something about throwing spiders at people is the most entertaining thing ever, especially ones that self-destruct. Hello, sir. Spider attack. <laughs> yes. We only have one more. I don't know if it one hits because that guy was already taking damage. We'll have to see. You, sir. Oh, no, it, it doesn't, okay, so it definitely doesn't one hit, but it takes off three quarters, I'd say. Actually, I think it only takes, like, 110 or 120 health. Doesn't make it any less fun. Well, so far, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm loving it. You're winning. Stay strong. Oh, 
I can't wait to see what you do with that. Spiders attack! Spiders, no! Well, my spiders aren't the fastest at wall climbing, unfortunately. Oh, look what you have. Gained the lead. Fought like a titan of the first pillar. <laughs> if I had one complaint about this weapon, I do wish it had a bit more ammo when it comes to Crucible. <laughs> he did not expect to get spidered. Now it is this guy. <laughs> yes, I love it. Well, guys, I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, my favorite exotic. I, it's just hands down. It's so much fun. If you guys have a favorite exotic you love to use on Destiny 2, then let me know what it is. And if you have the colony grenade launcher, let me know your thoughts on it. Aside from that, though, guys, please do leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new around here. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace.